G'day, g'day, welcome back. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, today I'm going to take you guys around my area, well, this area called Woiwoi actually, and I'm going to um, share with you guys um, some painting locations. And while that's going on, I am going to do a painting back in the studio. So you'll see the process of uh, that, of me painting uh, back in the studio. And also, um, I will show you around this beautiful area called Woi Woi. The name Woi Woi, the Aboriginal name, is a place of big lagoon or much water. And I will show you guys what I'm talking about right here. Okay, you can see the beautiful Brisbane waters. Um, this is the beautiful Brisbane waters here. And it's pretty quiet. Pretty quiet today. So... I'm going to show you guys, we're going to look for some subjects to paint while in the meantime I paint this scene that you can see here. So we will um, check out, hopefully the sun will, sunshine will stay out and while I paint this subject um, we can um, look at some beautiful locations to paint. So when uh, everything's good again, we can um, come back out and paint on location plein air. But in the meantime, we can um, do some art together and share the beautiful area where I, where I reside. Oh, that's good. The sun's come back out now. So this, this here, this looks like a good subject. What I like about this, you can see here, I like that red boat. I think that, that could be a good little subject to paint. So, give me a sec, I'll get a photo of that. So yeah, that looks good, I like the composition. With that, that um, with this boat here, you could really get some great reflections on the water. So that could be a good subject to paint. As we continue on, go a bit further up here. Yeah, the sky's looking good tonight. Uh, well, the sky's looking good today. And uh, I like the shadows on that mountain top over there on the left over there. That looks good. And what I do like is with these wharfs also with these little jetties and morphs going out you can create a lot of atmosphere in a painting so that would be a good subject to paint also so we'll just venture on up here a bit more also these yachts here would be a great subject to paint That looks good. Get myself a snap of that. Okay, continue on. It's a little bit warmer today, even though it's winter. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Um, hopefully we've turned the corner with the, the cold season here. This is also a subject that could be good to paint. That looks good. That's a mangrove tree. I don't know what they call them, but a mango tree, mangrove tree in the water. That could be another subject. I'll just get a snap of that. Okay, we'll go up a little bit further. Might be able to see some pelicans. There was a bit of wind, but the winds tend to die off now, so that's good. 
Um, doesn't look like there's any pelicans up here. But we'll go a little bit further. I want to talk about art and I want to talk about artists like Monet. How they got out and always managed to find something to paint. And I guess that with getting out and doing plain air, the more plain air you do, it starts to become natural to um, find what you think is a good subject to paint and to actually turn it into a good painting and I found that um, by doing plein air I just um, turn you guys around so you guys can um, see me yeah so to find a subject that um, yeah the more plein air that you do and you get out and um, it becomes more natural and you feel more comfortable with finding a subject to paint and actually executing that into a good painting and I found by the more I've got out um, since I've done this YouTube channel about maybe two and a half years or so now I found that um, it's be becoming easier and easier and I remember when I first got out and um, we're all in different stages of our, our painting and I found when I first got out, I really struggled with so many things like um, what to take to paint, what to, um, what to paint, composition, still struggle with composition today. Um, I found keeping things simple and um, not overloading with what I take um, helps helps me and I'm not getting overwhelmed and confused by uh, what to paint and what to take so it's good keep things simple take less things even if you put your paint some artists just put their paint on that palette and limit their self and just take a tube of white along and say all right I'm just gonna stick with this so then you don't get Sometimes you get out there and you just get confused and flustered. So keep it simple and find a subject to paint. Ah, here we go. This looks good. This looks good to paint also. Dead, dead tree stump. That looks like a good subject. Also that, that tree in shade with the beautiful reflections of the water. And out here on this jetty, you've got these water birds. I don't know what they are, but that looks good. But if you guys can see over there, might be a bit hard to see, but there's a, there's a little island and there's a stack, like I mean like a hundred of pelicans on it. So we'll head up this way up here and see if we can get a closer shot at those guys. Also, while I've just noticed there, while I'm pointing the camera, this... This area here looks like a great subject to paint also. So I'll get a photo of that also, and that, that could be something worth painting. Come on. Okay, so we'll go and have a look. These pelicans, it's, uh, I say it's high tide, so they look too far, but there could be some further up this way. So we'll have a quick look up here, so we can see some pelicans. I enjoy getting out, having a ride. I'm thirsty now already. This is a not bad uh, riding track. Designed for bikes, which is good. I've been doing some um, some paintings in the studio, some street scenes, and um, yeah, I've been enjoying it. Not as many as I've, I've liked to do, but it's been pretty good.
here we go we can get a better view of the pelicans now now if i painted that oh my brakes <laughs> if i painted that that's a bit um they're a bit far away to to throw in but this area here this could turn out um into a good little painting so i'll get a photo of that Okay, we're going to head back the other way now and see if we can see up the other end of this uh, cycle track. So we'll head back this way, about a kilometre or so. Hopefully that sunshine will stay out because um, I'm looking for better reference photos that I can always use in doing a painting. So if that sunshine comes out, uh, it will look really good in a painting. There's nothing worse than painting a scene that's cloudy. Unless you're doing a cloudy, stormy scene. But I'm looking to do a painting with, well, I'm always on the lookout to do a painting with lengthy, lengthy shadows and. Uh, yeah, always looking for to do paintings with uh, lengthy sta shadows and, and, um, and, trying to create and put light into the subject that's what makes a good painting you know when you you look at the impressionists and the the painters the great painters out there light and shadow really makes a subject look really good in a painting Yeah, well, the breeze has picked up a little bit now. Not too bad though, unless it's a little bit warmer. So yeah, um, basically with my art setup, um, well, I've got the French box and I've got the post shade box. Uh, I switch between both of them. And I do have a French box type that I use at home in the studio which um, doesn't have legs on it but when I go out I normally use the French box which is quite old now I've had it for a long time even though I've only been doing plein air seriously about two and a half years but I've had that French box pretty much since I've started painting 18 years ago uh, I just used it in the studio and uh, yeah I had it there and always dreamt of um, going out and painting plein air but never had the courage to get out and do it so now's the time folks you know to you got to get out and don't hold back and um, get out and paint don't worry about what people say just enjoy the moment and that's what I found you get confidence you know even though you might feel personally yourself your painting isn't that good to be out there and people are going to look at it and be a critic but it's okay just get out and have fun and um, it'll help you become a better painter and you get confidence and you get quicker I remember when I first started doing plein air I was so slow it would take me two, two and a half hours outside to get a painting the light would change and the painting would end up two or three paintings in one which overall ends up being a disaster so we all love art and it's a great gift to have So we need to get out and enjoy it. So we're almost coming up to the corner where we'll go around this corner up here and we will be able to um, see some more good subjects to paint. Uh, 
Okay, coming around the corner of this park here. A lot of people always come here and camp, which uh, you're not really supposed to, but people do. There's a lot of grey nomads in Australia, like the people that actually are retired and travel, because there's so many great places to go and see. Go, mate. So yeah, over here, normally you can see a pelican. Yeah, there we go, there's one right there. I don't want to bother the people, so I'll just show you guys. There's two pelicans there. Wow, beautiful. There's another one around here. There's a couple of couple of them around here. We'll have a look. Now what happens is they come here because this little area set up here is for when the people catch the fish and they clean the fish and they throw the scrap um, the guts and all that away and so the pelicans come and they hang around here because they every day fishermen come and uh, they get a free meal so look at these guys here beautiful bird I have painted a pelican, turned out okay. Beautiful. That could be a subject there to paint also. This pelican here, I'll get a photo of that. didn't scare him off which is good we'll go up a bit further up this way see you, mate don't fly away just hope the sun stays out That would be a good subject to paint if you like painting boats. With the light, the shimmer on the water. Bad Betty, eh? We'll get a quick photo of that, give me a sec. Okay, we'll venture on up this way a bit further. As you can see with the painting now that I'm doing, the process is getting there. We're almost done. Oh, oh. <laughs> a bit slippery. Don't fall in the water, Tez. <laughs> and this is the, the final subject that would make a good painting yeah I think this when the sun's out I've actually been here once before and I took a photo it was low tide looking out here the sun was shining there's plenty of shimmer and it was beautiful and I actually done a painting and if you can see now the painting that I've done from this scene I'll put it up now you can have a quick look at that and then also I'll put up the uh, street scene painting or a couple of street scene paintings that I've done and some recent paintings that I've done. And I think this area here would make a good, good subject, more so in low tide, but um, in high tide it's not too bad.
also looking back that way on a good day so oh here we go here we go like this but at low tide beautiful great to paint so this is Woi Woi folks, hope you enjoyed Woi Woi, which means the Aboriginal uh, name for Woi Woi is um, Big Lagoon, and as you can see it's like a big lagoon, but it actually goes out, goes all the way out to the sea, through all different estuaries and all that. So anyway, I hope you liked this bike vlog slash painting video, and um, I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Tell me what you think in the comments and it's been a while and happy painting, stay creative and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.